Hello guys and welcome back to another video. I'm going today in today's video we see what if Chile made an empire. Now the first thing they would do is to uh, attack Bolivia because they wanted more than just their coast. So they begin a, a full border wide push because of the long border shared with Bolivia like uh, this part of instead of this part yeah you get it right please say you get it well let's see what do they do they like encirclements as well it's not me who likes encircling things it's it's not me who thinks it just makes my videos easier to do it's just the countries that like them trust me it's the countries who like the encirclements well, anyway, uh, I am about to start school. You know, you know what, you know how it is, right? You know how it be. This will be uploaded on a Saturday for me at 8 p.m. And basically, that will be two days before I will begin school. Now, look at Bolivia. They are absolutely destroyed. The Chileans have touched Paraguay. It is a very touching moment. It touched you right in the hearts, right? But the thing is, Paraguay does not like being touched. Do you know what they do like? Having more than 10% of their male population alive. So they don't do anything. Because the Chilean empire is ruthless. And kill no man actually and indeed they do kill men if they have to but not on purpose they don't just go ahead and kill random men and women but they target the children <laughs> <laughs> now let's look at the la remainder of the war against Bolivia they begin a huge encirclement tactic basically just making a huge push which was not for encirclement whatsoever it was to push forward the Bolivians did not notice this and thought that they were going to be safer if they just went ahead and tried to stop the spearhead but no of course not then next time they did it they did not try to stop it and that was a mistake half their army here three quarters here no just kidding ten percent here 50% here. Where did the other 40% go? Who knows? Maybe. They went to prison. <laughs> Maybe they went to Brazil. Maybe they went, went to Peru. Who knows? I forgot to color in that. Now let's see how fast can one invade the rest of Bolivia using light speed. <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> That's only for worthy nations using fast fast speed they encircle Bolivia like four times they have four separate areas now they only have two separate areas now they're about to have one separate area now they have one separate area now they have two now they have four now they have two now they have four again and now they have one and now they have none. <gasps> so sad. But let's not sweat. Bolivia's still alive. Who really cares if Bolivia really died? And most Bolivians would actually care if Bolivia were no longer a country. So I were to put up a puppet state called Kind of Bolivia. But now Paraguay is at war there now Chile and kind of Bolivia are pushing in quite hard there until they see the children on the front line Chile stopped they felt their heart begin to ache before they went into full raid modus they quickly pushed right in there Peru noticed their mistake they, remi they remembered that Chile did not target men or women they targeted the children 
as their YouTube demographic. Demographic. Now I don't target children for my YouTube demographic, uh, or in real life really. I don't target anyone in real life. You know why? It's a hassle. It is very difficult to target someone, especially when you're not an adult. If I were to target someone right now, what would I do to that target? I don't know. Would I ask them on a date? No. Do you know why? A little fun thing you'll get to know about in the next video. If I remember it. And then let's see here. Kind of Bolivia is going to be kind of. Um, it's a uh, paragraph. Kind of. No, okay, you know what? Uh, Boligay. Boliguay. Yeah, Boliguay. 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 They. Boliguay. Okay. Bo. Bo. Lu. Guay. Remember that. Now, the Boliguay and the great South American Chilean coastline empire and inland empire push into. Peru and they do quite good on the coast because the infrastructure is structured right there you might remember this from my uh, what if Bolivia made an empire video and if not you should go watch it wait a minute okay I really feel like I have to burp I drank so much water but calm down I can't burp Be and it's really annoying. Now, what was it I was going to... Ah, yes, I was going to tell you about... Um, why I would not ask anyone out, no matter the circumstance. But that was going to be in the next video. B because it's, it's only a few minutes away, actually. Only a few minutes until I'm going to start recording it. You know that, right? You know that, right? that right but uh, who really cares if it's only a few minutes uh, or if it's a few months well you will probably care that uh, it's a few months between videos again now the Peruans uh, are getting overwhelmed by the great Chileans and the uh, uh, Bolivarians uh, pushing in so they call Ecuador <laughs> in and uh, Ecuador is quite flustered by that until they lose to Galap Galapagos and also uh, there's a huge landing right here it seems like in quite important placing uh, and also per Peru has lost their uh, capital too I have forgotten to say that but it is, I am quite positive that their capital is like somewhere around here. So, yeah. Lima is now under Chilean hand. Ecuador decided to surrender, but then uh, psych them at last moment, taking over nothing more. And just basically getting uh, <laughs> encircled. The entire country, of course, not just a single part of it. Wait a minute. The entire country, of course, not just a single part of it. And then uh, suddenly all their coasts were to disappear. They know they can't win. So does Peru. But you know, what do they have to lose if they just stay in? Well, you see, more population, more trust, and more money. Also, more benefits from their good friend Chile. They can't be a. Fr Chile would send all them. Told Peru now that if they surrender, Bolivar would be a friend with benefits. They accept, and suddenly the Great War was over. No longer was Peru and Ecuador at war with the great empires of the Caribbean. Oh, wait, sorry, the wrong, uh, wrong area. Great Empire of South America, and look at that, Peru. 
right next to their friend with benefits economic benefits now I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, that will be all for today there's Chad let's zoom in there goodbye